All right, guys, so I, I wanted to do a part two. Um, it's kind of separate the video to kind of show you guys how to really uh, wage war and spiritual, wage spiritual warfare against the enemy. So um, I'm going to read this verse from Ephesians, and you guys have heard it so many times, but a lot of people probably just don't understand it. So I want to talk about that, and then we'll finish here. But I wanted to break this up in part two because this is important. I want you guys to get this. So let's get started. So part two of doing spiritual warfare the right way. So in, in, in Ephesians chapter six, verses 10 through 18. Now, my last video at the end of that video, I talked about James 4, 7, how submitting yourself to God first, resisting the devil, and then he will flee. So in Ephesians 6, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, Paul gave uh, basically a metaphor of how a soldier should look or how he should dress spiritually when he is going against the enemy. So this, what I'm going to speak here is how you should fight the enemy. It's basically telling you how to do it, how to effectively do it. And it's listing it all right here. So if you study this verse, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, over and over again, it'll probably take you 25 times to get it. And if you apply it, then you'll be successful every time. So it tells you, it's almost like a step-by-step -step how to effectively fight against the enemy. So let, let's, 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 let me read it here. So it says, finally... Be strong in the Lord in the power of in his in the power of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. I think this may be the American Standard Version. So uh, let me see if I can find uh, the New King James Version. Let's see here. I like that a little better. Bear with me, guys. All right, so here's the New King James Version. All right, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in, in the heavenly places. So we're not wrestling anybody on earth. This is spiritual forces, all right? Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shot with your feet, having, having shot your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, above all, above all, taking the shield of faith, which will be able to quench all the fairy darts of the enemy. So above all, you have to have a shield of faith above all. He wouldn't have said above all if, it, if, it didn't have meant, if he didn't meant above all. So that's the most important, a shield of faith. Uh, and take the helmet of salvation. That's going to church, being immersed in the word. That's... Uh, that's, that's salvation, that's interacting with, with fellow Christians. And the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. So take the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. That's God's word. Use like Jesus used God's word against the devil. Okay. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, speaking in tongues and just praying to God in different ways. Being watchful to, the, uh, to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may be open, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of God. All right, so that's that's how you fight. That is how you fight. All right. Now, granted, some demonic forces are stubborn, so sometimes you're gonna have to fast, and you're gonna have to pray. So start small if you haven't fasted much. Fast a meal. And then when you fast in that meal, pray. If you want to do it more, fast, you know, fast two meals. When you fast those two meals, spend time with God and pray. If you 
don't know what to pray about, if you believe in speaking in tongues, then speak in tongues. Pray a little bit in, in English and then start just speaking in tongues the rest of the time. All right. Then if you have issues with praying and you don't speak in tongues, read Psalms. Start reading Psalms. There's many different uh, Psalms where Dave, David went to war. All right. So worship. Stay close to God. Now, um, what, is, what else I have here? Sometimes you, you're going to need prayer. You're going to need prayer of, uh, of your preacher or prayer with a fellow Christian. A lot of times you, you probably won't even need a preacher because where two or more are gathered in his name, there you will be. Call a friend. Call your wife. Pray. And believe. Don't just like, hey, you know what? I, don't, I think I may need to go to pastor with this. You know, it's some stuff, yeah. But God is not going to always let you get away with always going to pastor for something. If you need to pray, yeah. Go to, go to your pastor or go to a, a minister or a spiritual leader. But sometimes God ain't always let you get away with it. He wants you to grow. He wants you to mature as a Christian. All right? Sometimes you need to get on your knees and pray yourself. Pray things off yourself so you'll be stronger. Read the Bible yourself so you'll be more full of word. So you can wage war against the enemy. But if you have a friend or anything, y'all pray together. But two or more are gathering his name, there he will be. And then y'all say it's done. And then y'all both agree. And it's done. And walk like it's done. Have faith like it's done. And thank God like it's done. Thank him before you see it. And you will see it. So that's, that's how you do it. Don't make spiritual warfare hard. Jesus said his burden is a light. Don't make it hard. Put 80% for God. That means you, if you have to, if you have an issue, you have to get up early in the morning, get on your knees. Get up if you want to get up early, get up at, uh, I mean, wait to 12. Something about praying at 12 o'clock is powerful. Get on your knees, pray to God, thank him, worship him. Speak in tongues if you if that's what you do. Speak in tongues, sing songs, and then start then start uh, asking God. I mean, st then start telling God your issues, and and then start breaking and and and, and binding and, and commanding demonic forces to leave you. That's how you do it. Don't make it difficult. So many people make it difficult. So many people out here. So you got to do all this. I give you a whole list of things that you got to do. Nope. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. And the, the, the simplest thing to do, once you have all this, just remember this, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So you submit yourself to God. We're doing everything I just told you. You submit yourself to God. You go to church. You, inter you interact with people. You make God the... The um, um, what's it? you you make God the the leader of your life. You don't make major decisions without God. You pray to Him. You submit your life to Him. Then you resist the devil. Then the devil will they look at the, they'll look at their books and like okay hold on, this dude is red hot. We ain't touching him. He's got angels walking. He got giant angels walking behind him, in front of him, on the left side and on the right side. Let's not touch him because there's going to be major consequences if we touch this guy. He's red high. He's, they know. They know. Demons know. Put in the work. Submit yourself to God. Resist those demons. And they're going bye-bye. Guys, that's all, that's all I have for you today. Stay blessed. Catch you guys on the next one.